world of baseball lost a legend this week in Hank Aaron. He passed away at the age of 86 this Friday. Joining us now to discuss Aaron's legacy impact on the baseball world is Padres Hall of Fame pitcher Randy Jones. Good morning, Randy. Good morning, guys. How are you? I'm doing well. So, Randy, you know, first I want to get your thoughts, you know, on Hammer and Hank. He's such a legend in the baseball world. And he really was. I, you know, like in, we get into it. Yeah, I, I uniquely, I'm old enough where I, I faced Hank Karen. Um, it, it, I didn't bode that well my first time around. But anyway, uh, yeah, I got to spend a lot of quality time with Hank. And, and what an ambassador to baseball and how he played the game, how he approached the game, uh, you know, before the time of, of this new era of baseball. He just, uh, he took care of himself, had longevity, um, and just a great ambassador, always positive, and, and, uh, and, and, and baseball was first, and I always appreciated Hank Aaron. Yeah, he played 23 seasons. Can you tell me, Randy, when it was that you faced Hank Aaron? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yes. Uh, well, anyway, 1973 was actually when I broke in uh, with the Padres, and 73 I got my first start in, at, at Jack Murphy Stadium, and um, it was against the Atlanta Braves. And the first inning, I, 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 I was a little nervous. I walked a guy, got to Hank Aaron, two and one, and uh, threw him a sinker ball that didn't sink quite well enough. And he hit it about 18 rows up in left center field at, at Jack Murphy Stadium. Um, and I'll never forget it. I mean, uh, number one, you know, the first time I faced the guy, he hits a home run. But um, just his athletic ability, it just seemed like he flicked his wrist and the, and the ball just went forever. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll never forget it. And I'll never forget Don Zimmer, too, was my manager at the time. And I walked in after that inning, <laughs> and, uh, and Don looked at me and kind of smiled. And he goes, gosh, Lefty, you don't mess around. You get all the good ones right out of the bat. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. But uh, that was the second big league hit I'd ever given up in my career, you know, and that was a home run to Hank Aaron. And yeah, I think the amazing thing is the first one I gave up four days before that was a home run to Willie Mays. So um, I was having a – my first week in the big leagues was quite eventful. That's all I can say. Wow. History making, right, Randy, <laughs> is one way to look at it. I you mean, know, but Ali but you know what, if, if I could say one thing, I mean, I did a couple of great appearances with Hank Aaron over my career. I remember 76 of January is my birthday. I'm up doing a, 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 oh, a charity event in Fresno, California. And there's Joe Garagiola, Yogi, uh, Yogi Berra, Hank Aaron, myself. It's my birthday. God gave me a birthday cake. It, it was a Tom Seaver event, and Tom was there. Um, but getting some quality time to talk to Hank a little bit. And, and even after that in the 80s with uh, you know, Sada Hata O and, and Hank Aaron doing a big event here in, in San Diego in the late 80s for Upper Deck and hey, getting a chance to visit with these guys and, and really original people. And, you know, the all-star games and him showing up, uh, you know, what a, what a pure professional. And he showed that. You know, right up to his 86th year. I really believe that. He just he loved baseball and he represented it well. Yeah, 25-time All-Star. And, and, Randy, that's something we've been hearing about from everybody the past week is that it was his character, the fact that he would take the time off the field to talk to fans, to talk to, you know, people, and was just such a kind soul. Yeah, and, and an example to me, uh, you know, and I – it's not that it was Hank Aaron that I mimicked, but I I respected the, the fans, and I still do, and the same way that Hank Aaron did. And, and, and we got along so well when we were talking baseball, and I think we both kind of understood the impact that we made on people and, and what a di difference, you know. And it's not every person that we touch, to be honest with you, Ali. It's just uh, it's the idea that, you know, respect people, talk to them, and you can make a difference in their lives. And and, uh, and Hank always, he never forgot that. He was always respectful of that in the fans. Yeah, such a legacy that he leaves behind. Um, and the opportunity that you got to face him, of course, you, you are somebody who has 
uh, uh, quite the memory. But keep in mind, Randy, that he did have 24 home runs every year from 1955 to 73. So you're in good well, company. Yeah, and I was, I mean, the guy was like 692 on the list. You know, I was late in the list. And, uh, you know, you know, but overall, I just want you to know that I pitched around him pretty good the rest of my career, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was careful. Yeah, I would imagine. Well, uh, Randy, we appreciate you joining us, sharing that story with us. We want to wish you a happy belated birthday. I hear it was on January 12th, so happy yeah. belated birthday, Randy. Yeah, that's what happens. You have enough birthdays. That's why you called me, because I did face Hank, Aaron. Not too many people can say that here in the area, I don't think. Yeah, very true, Randy. Well, <laughs> great to catch up with you, um, and I'm sure that we will again soon. Thank you for remembering Hammer and Hank for us. We appreciate it. Well, thank you, and you know, thanks for having me on, and um, enjoying the broadcast. Keep it up. All right. Thanks, Randy. We'll talk again soon. All right. Bye-bye.